some of the 118 government-assisted immigrants recently arrived in Wellington. Most of the newcomers were in the armed forces during the war. Now, most of you have been in the services before this? Yes. yes. What were you in? Wrens. ATS signals. WAFs over in the corner here, yes. Mm. Good out. And now, uh, what have you come out to do? What have you come to do? Um, I'm going to be a home aide for a couple of years. What did you do in England? I was, well, before the war, I was a telephone operator. Oh, yes. Six and a half years in the signals. Good. And what did you do? I did shorthand typing after I was to mop from the Wrens. Whereabouts? Well, Chipstead. What? Chipstead. Oh, I haven't heard of Chipstead. <laughs> it's called Village. And where did you come from? I was in the BBC before the war, working as a secretary to a television producer. And the WAF joined the war. And what are you going to do here? Shorthand typing in the government office somewhere. Good. And uh, what about you? No, I come from Glasgow. One from of the Glasgow? valiant war work. Oh, valiant war worker. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> and uh, what do you want to do here? I've come out to try nursing. Good. Yes, we need more nurses here. So what about you? I'm an engineer. Are you going to be an engineer here? Oh, yes. I'm going to work for the, uh, <laughs> the government in the railway workshops at the <laughs> What about you? I'm going to be a home aide. Yes. And uh, I've just come back from Germany after being with Intelligence Division. And some of you know New Zealanders, do you? Yes. yes. Uh, how did you come to know New Zealand? During the war? Yes. yes. All the girls seem to know them. <laughs> yes. This year, the New Zealand Basketball Association held its annual tournament in Sunny Nelson, and the girls of the 29 competing teams paraded through the streets of the city. Basketball is, by number of players, the most popular sport in the Dominion and the tournament drew an impressive gallery of spectators. Play in all three grades was fast and furious with no holes barred. Anxious moments for the partisans with Canterbury's A-team going through to win the senior championship. Tauranga won the B grade and Nelson the Kiwi Trophy for the third grade, but many other teams were close contenders for this year's honours. The tournament went without a hitch, although uh, some adjustments were necessary, and credit goes to the referees, officials and district associations for keeping high the competitive standard of the game. Much land in the centre of the North Island is deficient in cobalt, a necessary mineral for the health of cattle and sheep. Without cobalt, stock can't be bred and must be bought onto the farm and sold in six months. Observers from the Wallaceville Animal Research Station and the Public Works Aerodrome section go to Waimiha, 20 miles north of Tamaranui, to try a new experiment of spraying cobalt from the air. Members of the small country community watching the preparations wonder what's descended on them. A pipe on the underside of the plane leads to nozzles under the wings and takes cobalt solution from a tank in the cockpit. Cobalt is sprayed at the rate of 20 ounces to the acre. A reddish powder is soluble in water and the solubility is increased if the water is heated. A large army-type primus heats the solution in 40-gallon drums. As the plane comes in for another load of cobalt solution, a small motor is started up which pumps the solution straight into the plane. 16 gallons containing 75 pounds of cobalt are carried at a time and reloading can be done in five minutes. Each flight on this job took about 15 to 20 minutes.
Communications for this test are provided by the Royal New Zealand Signal Corps. And up in the hills, where the spraying is being observed, a rather elderly pack horse carries the gear. Strips of paper spread on the ground check the quantity of the spray. The cost of this operation, if applied commercially, would be about six shillings per acre. And if it's successful, the effect would last for at least five years. The plane sprays a strip 44 yards wide and four miles long in 132 seconds. And 1,800 acres were covered in eight hours flying time, spread over two and a half days. This experiment may completely change much King Country farming.